everybody in DM Scotty's group. Uh, this is Johnny Ray, the Frugal Crafter. Uh, I'm so glad I was able to take your advice, DM Scotty, and uh, go out to Dollar Tree because I found some incredible bargains. For some of us who might not have all the materials that um, a good crafter would like to have, I wanted to throw out some ideas here and my particular uh, purchases here. So as you know, I did find the uh, foam board, like uh, like you'd mentioned, and the paper does just come cleanly off. You might have to work on it a little bit. Don't try to just rip it off because it will tear if you do, but keep the paper on that because except for that little um, UPC symbol or the barcode in one corner, that paper is just good enough for you to draw a world map campaign map sort of thing on that uh, sheet of paper it's just right size uh, it's got a good backing on the back side and you can later on affix it to you know maybe a sheet of cardboard hanging on the wall whatever you need to do near your gaming table so it gives you a little bit of extra an extra poster sheet of paper in that process I'm going to be using this for my stamping and an idea that's rolling through my head on getting some of the walls done using that same kind of foam core sheets here in uh, layers uh, another thing I did find, this is going to help me with a lot of the uh, uh, miniature uh, bits and such. I noticed uh, John Broden, uh, one of my personal friends and also a uh, contributor on the uh, DM Scotty room, um, was talking about the sarcophaguses and, and little knick-knack things that you can put in the dungeon using the same foam core sheets. So I found this. It's called Foam Beads. Uh, it's probably going to be flipped. I'm going to make sure I get that set up in editing, hopefully. And there's all little circles and little uh, little square pieces, rectangle pieces in there. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, okay, there's little things for treasure chests, um, little pieces for uh, different ornate structures. And since it's foam, you can take like an X-Acto knife and round out edges or something along those lines. So I'm definitely going to enjoy making a few things out of that. Um, the next thing I was able to purchase to help me along was some of my stamping. Instead of trying to get wide brushes, I know they're they are inexpensive. Paint brushes, dime a dozen sometimes. Well, in this case, it actually is a dime a dozen. I found these foam brushes, which go perfect with my the way I'm going to set up some of my uh, uh, stamps, and the fact that they they can apply that paint in kind of a textured way. So when you stamp it down, you don't always have a uniform blob of gray, uniform blob of black. You can actually go through with that foam brush and uh, get textured amounts. I like this. Uh, the next thing I have, and I'm going to be instituting, since we're doing a lot of terraining um, and outdoor scenes as well as indoor scenes, I wanted to show that Dollar Tree also has things like reindeer moss, uh, plant moss, things like that. And this textured um, grass, I guess you could say, uh, is perfect for uh, setting up your little uh, hill areas, and if you if you do gridless or non-gridless, this this is invaluable. In hobby shops I've seen this go for like almost like ten bucks in some cases. Dollar Tree, a dollar. Um, if if you're worried about the fact that it's organic, you can coat it with um with like a hairspray. Same thing like the people that preserve roses in albums, they'll do that. They'll coat it with some hairspray adhesive, things like that, to kind of. To help preserve it, help keep it locked in on that, and then use it on different geomorphs for uh, terrain examples. Okay, so there's that. Uh, lastly, of course, you cannot forget the invaluable craft sticks. These are, of course, thinner than regular popsicle sticks. They come in a hundred count. That's a penny a stick. I can live with that. I can do a penny a stick. And on top of that. They do have, at my particular family dollar, um, some of us cannot get the um, that stonework um, spray paint. Stonework spray paint. Uh, it's like sometimes uh, in my area, it's like $7 for a spray can of that. While it does great things for your dungeon, uh, I now feel it may not be necessary. Here's why. At the, um, at the family dollar, found these drawer liners that are adhesive on the back side so they will stick to the back side yet they still have a 
will have a little bit of a glossy finish. Uh, this can be, this can have um, uh, straight uh, armor paint painted over it. It shouldn't, it shouldn't have any problems. Uh, that that paint will work with almost anything. Armory paint for miniatures. Uh, the primer. Uh, this is a stone work or tile um, granite looking um, uh, drawer liner. It's kind of like contact paper. Uh, they have it in stonework as well as wood, wood grain, um, and there's there's a lot of it. Um, as you can see, I'm I'm still going, and that also is just for a dollar. So if you needed to, to line some of your mats for stoneworking, you got enough to work with. Let me tell you. Um, literally, I could see myself coming up with at least four full size mats of this stonework. And then I can go in and etch in my uh, stamping, but instead of going for the the bricks themselves, I'd be concentrating on the in, on the stamp, depressing the bricks instead of depressing the lines between the bricks. Now, while that's a little bit more complicated, it allows me to stamp black and darker colors and allow those to be uh, set into the stone. So it it kind of it's kind of like instead of a dark room. And bringing out a little bit of the light textures, having a light room bringing out some of the dark textures. Not every, not every dungeon crawl is below ground where there's, you know, a core and slime and sewage and and three, you know, inch thick, you know, dirts in the trail beneath the stone. Sometimes it's in very nice ornate structures, castles and things like that where we actually have a staff that cleans. Uh, so you know, there's a lot of things to work with on that. Um, lastly. Um, Best thing about the foam core, you don't have to paint it because they do come in sheets of black as well. Um, I thought about getting this for the mats instead of cork board. Um, it feels good. It has good structure to it. doesn't feel like it's going to um, break anytime soon or warp. Um, and it uh, has good thickness and good size. They cut right down the middle. I've got two mats right there. Uh, not everybody has an Ikea in their own backyard. And plus, these were also a dollar each, so they fit to the same uh, price plan for DM Scotty, where he said he had a four pack for about four dollars. But anyway, it's about a seven minute long video, almost eight minutes long now that I've been talking like crazy. Um, as DM Scotty would say, go forth and craft. Take care.